Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, we're doing the Fender Play app, Random Exercise and Riff on the classical acoustic guitar. The Random Exercise and Riff is sent to my phone five days a week. And today's random exercise is E5 to A minor C with palm muting. And then today's random uh, riff is, I can't pronounce it, Bolero, Bolero, I have no idea. But we're going to do it. <laughs> okay, exercise uh, E5, A, oh, well, scroll down. Palm mute power chords and open position chords in a rock progression. And then what are today's chords? Uh, pretty easy. A minor. C. And D. Five. I thought that was called the... Oh, I see. Uh, what, what's different? I was going to say, I thought that was E minor. All right. Yeah, I can see the difference. All right, I'm on. You're only supposed to play the first three strings, or the last three strings, I mean. All right. And what are our tabs here? Palm muting. I'm not sure if I'm ready for palm muting chords yet. We'll see. In this, In this exercise, exercise we're going to play a progression that utilizes palm, palm mute while switching between three chords. Here's what the Here's progression, what the progression sounds, sounds like. On the fret hand, we have three chords. We have, chords. We have, we have five, E5, A minor, a minor and, C. and C. So we're going to play so we're gonna two, play bars, two of bars of E5. One bar, one of, bar of A minor. And one bar, and one bar of C. And that four bar that four progression, progression is going to be repeated. Now the strum hand, the strum we'll hand will start off with that E5. We're going to palm you and use the down strum. It's going to sound like this. Sound like this. One, and one, two, and two, three, and three, and four, and four, four and one, and two, and two, and three, and three, and four. Now notice we can now increase, we can the, dynamics increase the dynamics of the chord by slowly, by slowly lifting, lifting our palm, our palm from, from ridge to play just slightly, slightly harder. On the strings, on the strings there. Now let's go ahead and now let's go ahead and incorporate the palm progression. We're going to play our E5, build for two bars, build for two bars, for two bars for two we're playing those eighth notes, those eighth followed, by notes followed by an E minor chord, a minor chord as half notes. As half notes. One, two, three, three, four, and then another four, bar, and then another bar, C, half notes again. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and play the progression Let's go ahead five, and play the progression five I'll times. Count. I'll count you one and two one and three and four and four and, four and e five and three and three four and build that up and build that up and three and three and four and e minor and c and c back to e five back to e five one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and e minor. Awesome job. Awesome Palm job. Palm muting adds a lot of, interest, a lot of interest in diversity in the sound. If you keep practicing, we'll keep practicing, and we'll see you next time. Okay, I'm gonna play and then play along. Play again. But I also want to enlarge that. Uh, in this exercise, we're going to play, play a progression that utilizes, progression that utilizes while switching between three chords. Here's what the progression sounds like. One, and one, and three, and four, and one, and one, and one, and one, and two, and three, and four, and three, and four, and three, and four. On the fret hand, we have
have three chords. Right hand, we have three chords. We have E5, E minor, E minor, and C, and C. We're gonna play two bars of E5. One bar of A minor. One bar of A minor. One bar of C. One bar of C. Now notice we can increase the dynamics of the chord by slowly lifting our palm from the wrist. Now let's go ahead and incorporate the palm eating into the progression. We're going to play our E5, build for two bars, build for two bars, eighth notes, followed by an E minor chord, E minor chord, notes, as that one goes. One, two, three, three, and then another bar, and then another bar, half notes again, half notes again. One, two, three. Go ahead and play the progression five the progression times. Five I'll times. Count I'll count you one and one and three and three four and four and you four and four and three and three and four 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 and four
with the riff. Let's start with the riff. It's a two-bar repeated, two repeated phrase using phrase power chords, using power and, chords and, and an accented strum, strum on the back beat. The vocal comes in here vocal with Buscas en mis bolsillos pruebas de otro cariño. Here's how it sounds. Here's how it sounds. With our fretting hand, with our fretting we have hand, four, chords, we have to four chords to learn. Let's check them out. Let's check them out. We start with E5. We start with E5. We'll play the low, we'll open, play the e low open E string. And put our index finger, put our on, index the finger on the second fret of the A string. Next we have F sharp Next we have F sharp 5. We'll put our index finger, put our index on, the finger on the second of the fret e of the low E string. And a ring or, and pinky, a ring finger or pinky finger on the fourth fret, on the fourth of, the fret of the A string. Then we have G sharp. Five then we have G sharp five. With our index finger, with our index on, the finger on the fourth fret, fret of the low E, and ring finger, and ring on, finger the fret on the sixth fret of the A string. And last we have G five. And last we have G five. With our index finger on, the third, index finger on the third fret, fret, of, the fret of the E string, and our ring finger, and our ring finger on the fifth fret, on the fifth of, the fifth fret of the A string. Let's see those chords. Let's see those chords angle. from another angle. E5, E5, F sharp 5, F sharp 5, G sharp 5, G sharp 5, and G5, and G5. Now let's walk through Now let's walk through the riff progression. In the first bar, in the first we bar, we have E5 for two beats. And then F sharp And then five F sharp 5 for two beats. In the second bar, in the second bar, we have G sharp five for two beats, and then one beat and then each one beat on each, G five, G five, and F sharp five. And, and we'll repeat this riff. We'll repeat this riff a total of four times. With our strumming hand, with our strumming we'll hand, use we'll use strumming alternate strumming techniques on eight notes with, accents, with on accents on the back beat. Let's walk through the progression. Let's walk through the progression bar one bar at a time. First bar, in the first bar, we play E5 for two beats, e for two and then F sharp five, and then F sharp five for two beats, with accents, with on, accents beats on beats and two and four, like this. Like this. One and two and three and three and four and down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Down up. Bar two uses the bar same strumming pattern. Bar two uses the same strumming pattern, but starts with, but starts with, with G sharp five for two beats. One beat and then one beat of each of G5 and F sharp 5. And F sharp like, 5. This. like this. One and two and two and three and four and G sharp 5. G sharp 5 and G5 and F sharp 5. G sharp five. G sharp five. G five. And F sharp 5. Let's play the entire riff two times through. Let's play the entire riff two times through. Two times through. Get ready and I'll count, you, and I'll count you in. One, two, two three, four, four, E5. Four, E5. F sharp, F sharp 5. F sharp 5. G 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 sharp 5. F sharp 5. One, two, And that's the riff. And that's the riff. Okay, I'm going to watch it again and play along. The riff. Let's start with the riff. It's a two-bar repeated, two bar phrase, repeated using phrase using power chords, using power chords and, accented and an accented strum on the back, strum on the back beat. The vocal comes in here vocal comes with Buscas en mis bolsillos, en mis pruebas, bolsillos de pruebas de otro cariño. Here's how it sounds. Here's how it sounds. With our fretting hand, with our fretting we, have hand we have four chords to, learn. to learn. Let's check them out. Let's check them out. We start with E5. We start with E5. We'll play the low, we'll play open, the e low open E string. And put our index finger, and put our index on, the finger on the second fret of the E string. Of the e string. Next we have F sharp. Next we have F sharp 5. We'll put our index finger, put our on, index the finger on the second fret of the, e of the low E string. And a ring or, and a pinky, ring finger or pinky finger on the fourth fret, of the, fourth fret of the A string. G sharp then we have G sharp five, five with our index finger on the fourth, index finger fourth, on the fourth the fret of the low E and ring finger and ring on finger the on the A sixth string. fret of the A string. And last we have G five. And last we have G five with our index finger, with on, our the index finger on the third fret of the E string. 
and our ring finger, and our ring finger on the fifth fret on the fifth of the fret A string. Of the A string. Let's see those chords from another chords angle. From another angle. E five. E five. F sharp five. F sharp five. G sharp five. G sharp five. And G five. Now let's walk through the riff progression. In the first bar, we have E five for two beats, and then F sharp then F sharp five for two beats. In the second bar, we had G sharp five for two beats, and then one beat each, and then one beat G5 and F sharp five. And we'll repeat this riff a total of four times. With our strumming hand, we'll use alternate strumming techniques on eight notes with accents on the back beat. Let's walk through the progression. Let's walk through the progression one bar at a time. In the first bar, we play E5 for two beats, and then F sharp five for two beats, with accents on beats two and four, like this. Like this. One and two and three and four. Starts G sharp five with two beats, and then one beat each of G five and F sharp five. One and two and three and four. G sharp five, G five and F sharp five. Let's play the entire riff two times through. Get ready, and I'll count you in. Get ready, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. E five, four. E five. F sharp five. F sharp five. G sharp five. And that's the riff. Oh, all right. I'm gonna try this on my own. Go ahead and try and practice now. Now, because I had problems during when I was playing it, I'm going to go ahead and lower the tempo 15%. I might work my way up. Try that again.
that's it the last few of that. Is it 75%? Yeah, not quite there. Do it full speed. <laughs> 